Hey, welcome to another exciting video on the International Business Coach channel. I'm your business coach, Malte, and today's episode, we're going to talk about import. What does import mean and what challenges you might face when you're bringing stuff into your country? Today's world is global and digital. To be successful as a business, you need to address this international market. In this video series, I'll show you how to compete with global players and bring your business to the next level by going international. So let's talk about import. Import means you bring something from another country into your country. And let's face it, a lot of products these days, they are made overseas already. So everyone is doing it, why not you? And there are certain challenges to importing, but it shouldn't be that scary. There are agencies that can help you, there are shippers and brokerages that can help you. But the certain regulations you have to comply with, they might differ a little bit from country or from region to region. So if we take the US for example, there every product is categorized into a so-called HS category. We put a link in the description for you guys so you can check that out and maybe find the product you are thinking about importing. Other regulations that apply that you have to follow um, comes if you have a consumer product, for example, or a children's toy. So you have to get them safety tested before you're allowed to sell them in the place, in the country you are in. Other regions like the European Union, they have other regulations and it's not just for one country, that's a really good and, and positive thing. So they have, if you bring it to France, to Spain, to Italy, to Germany, it's almost everywhere the same regulations. The language is still a little bit different, but the import regulations are very similar. So if you are thinking about importing something, and I hope you are, make sure you follow the right regulations and the specific restrictions that apply for your country so that your goods and products don't get stranded in the port and that you don't overpay the duties or tariffs or the taxes when you're importing material and then you are successful, have the products there and bring them to market. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any feedback, any questions, or if you have a specific topic you want me to cover, please make sure to reach out, leave your feedback in the comments, or find us on the website, and I'll make sure to cover all the questions and all the feedback you have in one of the next videos.